Hey, it's Mike from MagPlus. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do something totally unique to the MagPlus system. We call it pinning. It's the ability to make one layout that will work in either orientation and still give you control about how that layout looks and where elements fall on the page relative to the edges of the screen. So let's take a look at this layout here and see how it would look in the sim with no pinning at all. You'll see that when I turn the device, those text boxes, the head and the main text box, are exactly where they were in the other orientation. In other words, the layout doesn't change when I turn the orientation. So it looks pretty good in vertical, doesn't look as good in horizontal. Now let's go back in InDesign and add some pinning to this. I'm going to take both these elements and, you know, I want them to be on the left side no matter what orientation the user is holding the device in. And here's what's really cool. The system will actually calculate the distance that an element is from the edge and maintain that relative distance in either orientation. For this element here in the lower right corner, since that's on the B layer, I can actually set both left, right, and top bottom pinning. So I want that to always be in that lower right corner, again, regardless of the orientation. So now let's jump back out to the sim and see how this layout looks with pinning. I hit fast review again, quickly builds that MIB so I can instantly review. Now when I turn, watch what happens to these elements. They stay pinned to that left edge exactly as I've told them to, so I can see more of that big beautiful image. That's pinning. Layout wants precise control in either orientation. 